Hey guys, Indigo Films TV here. This is going to be a tutorial for the New Year's quest. And it says, Happy New Year. New Year's celebration in Simtown are set to go off with a bang with the embargo on fireworks and ports being lifted. Sims are rushing to buy as many fireworks as they can. Local Sim astronauts are expecting to be able to see the celebrations from orbit. So we're going to go ahead and click continue, tap on it, and it's going to tell us what to do. And first it says 1098, and it says invite friends on a phone. New Year's Eve is coming up and your sims want to have the ultimate party. Start inviting lots of sims. Use a phone to invite friends. So. And this is, uh, we have to complete this quest within the t limited amount of time, which is two days and 23 hours. So about three days to unlock your very own fireworks bundle. So again, we have to invite our friends. We're actually going to move on over to a different house so that I can, because uh, I have a weather machine in my other houses, so it'll be a little bit clearer to look at. Let's not use the Christmas cabin since we were there already. Let's go to the Teen Idol Mansion where I put one of my weather machines so that it'll be a little bit easier to look at. The pool is a little bit dirty here, but we're going to have them call a friend, invite a friend. It's going to take about 15 minutes. Let me make sure that's what the, yeah, okay, invite friends, so, doesn't say how many, but we'll go ahead and see if one is enough. So we have a sim on the phone right now, inviting one friend over, and we'll come back in 15 minutes. Alright, so it looks like one sim was enough to invite over. And it's going to be our next goal is going to send email invitation on a computer. So we just called a friend over and now it says there's one with sim less to invite you know that special one that that your sim fancies. The problem is that your sim is a bit too shy to ask them over on the phone. Maybe they should email the invitation. So I'm just going to, again, this is the Teen Idol Mansion. If you haven't checked it out in my other videos, definitely check it out. Very cool house. I'm going to have him come here and send an email invitation, which is on your left there. And it takes three minutes. So he's going to go ahead and do that. He's in his swimming suit because he was just in the pool. So we'll go ahead and come back in about three minutes. For those of you who don't know how to get a phone or a computer, you have to go to the electronics section of the store. And the computers are going to be in the middle right here. And it starts from 650 simoleons. And if you guys need a phone, it is towards the end of this electronics section. And it starts at 200 simoleons. So we'll come back, come back in a few minutes. Alright, so we just emailed one of our sims an invitation. And the next goal is to call Fireworks R Us on a phone. It says, great job, that's the invite sent, but your sim has had another thought. What if they could get fireworks for New Year's? Imagine if they could kiss their special sim while the fireworks go off. It would be the most romantic thing ever. Call Fireworks R Us and find out if you can get fireworks for the party. Huh. So, we're going to go back to our little phone right here in this office and click on Call Fireworks R Us. It is on the right right there and it takes 30 minutes. So, we'll go ahead and have him call Fireworks R Us and come back in about 30 minutes. The next goal is to make some tomato punch. All right. Whatever. <laughs> it says, fireworks ordered. The shipment should arrive within the next day or two. In the meantime, better prepare for the party. Did you know there's a recipe for the special type of punch that uses tomatoes? So we're going to go ahead and use the fridge to make tomato punch. We're going to go ahead and go into the kitchen of the Teen Idol Mansion. Very nice kitchen. We're going to click on it and click make tomato punch. It's on the upper right hand corner and it takes six hours. So we can have our sim get started on this. I'm, I'm interested to know what it looks like to get even started on this. But we will see and come back in six hours maybe he'll just be stuck to the fridge we'll give it about a few seconds to see if he goes anywhere so it seems like he's just staying in one spot which is completely fine but i guess he'll hog up that fridge for a while i think we have another one around here somewhere we have one on the second or third floor of this mansion. Oh, yeah, one right here. So we'll come back in six hours. So we just made the tomato punch. I'm sure it's going to taste great. <laughs> and it reminds me of V8 juice. But anyway, 
Next goal, deep sleep in a bed. That punch is sure to hit, pun intended. Better get some sleep now. Tomorrow you can check on the fireworks shipping progress. So we have to do a deep sleep. We're going to go to the second level, and we're going to use this room. This is the master bedroom. I'm going to go ahead and click here, and deep sleep is right down there, six hours. So we're going to get our sim started on that. Don't you guys love waking up after a night of deep sleep and you know you've gotten enough sleep instead of waking up on days where you have to set an alarm clock and you're getting up early and you're tired still? <laughs> I like pressing snooze. But again, our sim is going to go to sleep. The lights automatically shut off for him and we will come back in six hours. Good night, sim. He's snoring. All right, so we just had a deep sleep. It says check fireworks shipping on a computer. It says now that your sim is all refreshed, it's time to check on those fireworks. They must be close by now. Use the computer to check up on the shipping progress. So we're gonna go ahead and use a computer. Let's see if there's any on this level. Nope, what about third floor? There's a computer right here. We're gonna click on it. The dual screen computer, click on check firework shipping. And I love when, I order a lot of stuff online, especially for Black Friday, because I don't like dealing with crowds. And I do a lot of checking on my shipment online, and it seems like, I think the, the post office is a little bit probably bothered by me, because it's like, I buy a lot of stuff online, and every time they come here, they're probably like, oh, it's her again. Let's throw the stuff on her door. But um, for those of you, again, who are starting this game and don't know where to get a fridge, you just click on kitchen for the previous goal when you made a tomato punch. It's right here. It starts at 100 simoleons. For those of you who need a bed for just our last goal, it's in the bedroom area and starts at 1,400 simoleons. It seems pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many questions I get about where to find things. So that was pretty quick. Only took a few seconds, and we just checked on the fireworks shipping. It says, make a sim, try not to panic in a lounge chair. What's that? A shipping status update saying the fireworks shipment has been lost. That's going to ruin the New Year's party and your sim's chance to impress their crush. So let's take a deep breath and try to stay calm. Maybe find somewhere to sit down. Make your sim, try not to panic in a lounge chair. So we're going to go ahead and find a lounge chair. He's actually sitting on one right now. We're going to have him, we're going to click back, have him stand up. And then click on the lounge chair, not the pool. Click on this lounge chair and click on try not to panic on the right there. It's going to take nine hours. Where did he go? Did I click on the one downstairs? I don't know why he's going downstairs. That's weird. Let's just see where he ends up going. Where is he going? What's going on? Oh, this is him trying not to panic. <laughs> He's just like spazzing out everywhere, basically. So you're going to click on the a lounge chair. If you guys don't know where to get it, you go into the furniture store, go into the living room area. And the lounge chair is going to start from right here. It's going to start from $180. It's just any single chair basically from the living room section. It has to be from the living room section. And basically, like I said before, you're gonna click on it, click try not to panic, but what he's gonna do, what he or she is gonna do, your sim, he's, he's, they're gonna just walk around and pretty much panic. So this is gonna take eight hour, uh, nine hours, so we'll go ahead and have him freak out for a little while and come back in nine hours. All right, it's been nine hours, and it says call courier on a phone. Okay, okay, now that's out of the way. You need to find those lost fireworks. Call up the courier agency and complain about the lost fireworks. So again, we're gonna use that phone, any phone, and we're gonna click on it and click on call courier. It's on your right, and it takes one minute and 30 seconds to see if we can get this problem fixed, and hopefully we'll have fireworks. And uh, we'll come back in about one minute.
All right, we're about 38% done at this point, and it says the next goal is to be nice to a sim. And the courier agency says that they have the fireworks, but to claim them, you need the delivery slip, which was apparently posted to you. Go and ask another sim if they've seen it by being nice to them. So we have another sim right here. He's visiting, and we'll go ahead and click be nice. They're strangers, but they will be acquaintances after this. It's going to take one minute, so let's come back in a minute. Of course, they just became acquaintances because they've never talked to each other before, and now that they're nice, they can be acquaintances. Next goal is to have a sim sift through garbage. Ew. <laughs> it says, time to get down and dirty, kick over a trash can, and have a sim sift through the mess for the delivery slip. The things sims will do for love. To sift through garbage, you must kick over a trash can, and then you can tap on the spilled garbage and click sift through garbage. So we're going to go ahead and go to the front. The teen idol mansion is a little bit different, but the garbage is right here next to the security camera and the gate and my mail. I don't open my mail right away because I'm going to click on it and click kick over. Wherever you guys ha are in your Sims houses, you just go to the front next to the mailbox and your trash can will be there. You're just going to kick it over just like that. It's going to be nasty, but he's you're going to click on it and click sift through garbage is going to take eight hours oh he's going to be so dir dirty after this doing this for eight hours oh did i make another sim do it i wanted him to finish the school i'm going to cancel this guy and make this guy do it sorry it was another sim doing it that's why but he's going to be really dirty after this um and the reason by the way why i don't collect my mail someone asked me earlier why i don't um, is because I want to save it until I do need the money. So that way, because if I collect it, then next time if I buy something and I don't have enough money, I'm like, shoot. Uh, I don't know. I just tend to run out fast and I like to have a lot of it. So yeah, I'm going to wait. But anyway, we're going to come back in about eight hours. <laughs> All right, we just sifted through the garbage. A little bit dirtier. See his hygiene level go down. Um, so we have to go sift through another sim's garbage. And it says, okay, nothing yet, but there's still time. Maybe the delivery slip ended up at another sim's house. Go and sift through another sim's garbage. So basically, you know, if this is your house, you have to go to another house. So let's just say that this is my house, even though it's not. So just go to a different house. Um, I guess I'll just go... You know what, I'm going to go to the beachside escape because I haven't been there in a while. And uh, bring that same sim over. Where is he? And I'm going to have him kick this one over. He's not in his swimming suit e anymore. If you have your sim go to another house, they're not going to be in their swimsuit anymore. They're going to change back to their normal clothes. So, this is going to take another eight hours. We'll come back then. All right. We are about 52% done. It says email delivery slip on a computer. And it says, bingo, you just found the delivery slip. I wonder how it even ended up here. Better send it off to the fireworks warehouse. And we should be able to email it using a computer. Let's see where the computer is. I haven't been to this house in a while, so let's see if they have a computer here. Okay, I see one. So I'm going to click on it and then click email delivery slip. It's going to take 13 minutes. So we're just going to leave our sim to do that for 13 minutes. All right. Next up, spent $8,000 in the home store. The fireworks are on the way, but they said it could take a while and may not make it in time for the party. This is going to come down to the wire. You're some better prepare for the party anyway. Spend $8,000 in the home store. So, I don't really like to modify a house that is pre-furnished. So, I'm going to go to another house that isn't and just spruce that one up. Let's see. Let's go into this cabin. The snow cabin. I'm going to spend about $8,000 on it. Uh, what should I do? 
I'm just going to choose random things to add $8,000. You know what this cabin needs actually is a heater because it gets cold in the winter time. So I'm just going to get this and put it right here. It's a heater um, and it's in the living room section of the home store. So that way I could just add it to this little oops, living room and uh, turn it on, turn it on. So that way my sims can stay warm. Anyway, the next goal is to invite six sims over. Okay, it's party time. Invite six sims over, and don't forget your sims special crush. The fireworks might still arrive in time for you to set up your romantic plan. So, I'm just going to use this house. It doesn't really matter which house you use. One, two. Let's invite, see if they're, no, housebound. <laughs> Three, four, five, uh, six. All right, next, make six sims dance to a stereo. What's a New Year's party without dancing? Have six of your sims get their dance on, and the music choice is ours. So, I do have this little party area up here, so I'm going to make them dance to this. And I like, uh, let's go with pop. I'm a fan of NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. I don't care if you judge. I judge too sometimes. No, but I like them. So, we're going to have all, uh, who else is out there? I want to make them join in, but I want to get one of them first to get on it. So then we can have just the others joining in. Oops. And, of course, you have to have them use the stairs one by one. So, this might take a little bit of time. Still not ready. Have him join in also. How many more people are left? One more, right? This is four. There's another one coming, so we have one more left. He's waiting for the stairs to be free. Alright, that was easy. Not too bad. It's pretty crowded here, though. It says, check voicemail on a phone. Someone mentioned something about a light flashing on the phone. Is there a message waiting? By the way, um, if you guys need to know where the stereo is, you just go into the electronics section, this little remote here, and the stereo is in this section. So just look for it. Um, it starts right here at 300 simoleons. And again, we're going to have our sim check the phone. So go ahead and click on it. Check voicemail. It's going to take three minutes. It was on your right of the menu there. And while the others are finishing their little dance, um, we are gonna have one sim pick up the phone. And check their voicemail, come back in a few minutes. All right, it says send sim to the park. The fireworks have been delivered, but not here. They've been set up in the park. Here's your big opportunity, send your sim to check it out. Um, so if you guys don't know, or if you guys have ever seen fireworks, a lot of them do take place at public places, like whether it be a high school or the park. I usually watch um, I usually watch fireworks from the park. They're really fun. And it says, invite a second sim to the park, and there's fireworks on the pier. Here's your big chance to impress that special sim. Invite them to meet your sim at the park. Is there already two here? I was going to invite his wife. Anyway, we'll just go along with it. Um, and it says, be romantic to another sim. Here's your big chance. Set the mood by being romantic to another sim. So you can invite whoever you want to if you guys are married, if your sim is married, or um, if it's someone you want to set up. So I'm going to try and invite. Uh, let's invite a, two, a couple, because um, otherwise I feel kind of bad. All right, I'm just going to have, mm, I have no choice. Uh, I don't want to do this since everybody else is busy, though. I'm just going to make them be romantic. I'm going to, I'm going to do something you guys probably haven't seen my, me make my sim do. But I'm going to have these two sims be romantic with each other. 
It's kind of hard to see because it's dark out. But we'll come back in a minute. Again, you can choose any two adult sims. I don't know if teens work, but I'm just using adults. <laughs> I just created Bunny Romance. Oops. They're both married. But let's see. Activate the fireworks. Okay, time for your big moment. Launch the fireworks. They're on the pier at the park. The pier, the pier. Where are you, pier? Oh, okay, I see them. Do you guys see them? It's right there. We're going to click on it and turn on. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Can you guys see that? It's perfect that it's dark out. You want to save this for when it's dark out. All right, our next goal is to make two Sims kiss. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and use the same um, two people. Cause why not? Where is that other sim? She's right here. So <laughs> it takes two seconds. You guys notice that there's no option before to just kiss? Like I've never seen that. And it only comes on this special occasion for the 4th of July. Or a New Year's special thing. I was going to ask you guys for any good New Year's kissing stories, but I don't think that's a good idea. It might be a little bit... might be a little bit inappropriate. <laughs> I'm trying to stay PG because there's a lot of kids watching. But, oh, it's just a kiss on the cheek. That's cute. And it says, congratulations, we unlocked our very own fireworks bundle. Our sims better have earplugs. <laughs> 